What's up, Buck fans? RBT back again with another film study. Today is Indomitian Sioux. The big boy, 6'4", 313. Massive individual. How did he fare with the Bucks last season? Only two and a half sacks, but he meant so much more in the run game, demeanor, and just what he brought as a as a veteran to this younger team. Plus, what'd you think of him? Yeah, I think Indomitian did you know exactly what you know, we needed him to do, and that was, you know, be a force in the run game, obviously the number one run defense. And then I think it was more off the field, you know, in the locker room, that demeanor, like you talked about, the mentality of being physical and nasty up front. And you obviously saw that with our defensive line. Uh, we talked about it with, you know, William Golson in, in our previous uh, breakdown with him. And so, and Domican did a lot of good things, um, you know, number wise, again, you know, not one of his better years as far as stats, but he did a great job of just being in the right spot and really helping the young defense be in the right position at all times. And really uh, couldn't ask more of him. And they re-signed him back for this season, you know, one year, $8 million deal. So he's definitely worth it of, of being on the team and just really like it and see, you know, like to have him on there and he can just bring a lot to the table. And uh, it's really fun watching him play. Absolutely. And let's get to that film. But before we do, guys, you know what it is. Like, subscribe, comment. Help us out down below. And with that said, let's go check out Ndamukong Sue. Okay, guys, let's go over Ndamukong Sue. He's always going to be this monster in the middle. And this is his first sack of the season against the Lions. What do you know? His first team in the NFL. It's more of a coverage sack, but still, look at the end of this play. A la Ndamukong Sue, just being the aggressor. Give me that damn ball. I mean, this is him in a nutshell. What do you like, Plus? Yeah, again, just I like how he you know, pushes the pocket and then he's able to you know, just read where the quarterback's going and makes the play. So, again, kind of similar to, you know, we talked about, um, you know, Levante David. Uh, and Domican's got the same thing. He's got that awareness, the ability. He's a veteran. So, I mean, he, he's seen stuff. He knows what to look yeah. for. And he's always in the right spot. So, does a good job there of finishing. And then he does have some pass rush moves that you saw there against the Rams. I mean, this is just quickness in space. So he's going to immediately beat him to a spot. There's an open gap. Slaps him out of the way. Slaps hands. Swims over him. Gets after the quarterback. Just misses him. Quick throw, but incompletion. So, I mean, he does have pass rush ability. So I don't know why people think he's just a run stuffer. He's just better at run stuffing. Here we go, middle of your screen. Yeah. Here, I mean, yeah, disruption. Yeah, so he's just getting skinny here. Middle of your screen again, he's just gonna get skinny, using that little shoulder to get through. Nothing fancy, he's just doing what he's, right there, when I mean getting skinny, he's just only giving one side of his body, he's not giving his chest plate up. Gets through, guy falls, has to throw the ball away. What do you like? Yeah, no, really good. Just he's got good initial quickness, you know, off the line, and then just like you said, getting skinny and making a play, you know, being a disruption and causing an incompletion, which is what you want. So yeah, only two and a half sacks, but I mean, this yeah, there is, it is like. yeah, there it is again. Again, he, he kind of that's probably his go-to move. You know, he likes to do the you know swim over, rip and rip through, and does a good job of yeah, just using his hands. You know, getting skinny again, getting through there, Put and him then on finishing. His ass. <laughs> yeah, finishing the hit. Yep. And also pass deflection, Carlton Davis. There you go. Here he is again, just bullying his man in front of him. This Drew Brees known for getting it out fast. I guess you would say he's a a dump man. <laughs> <laughs> but he's getting it out quick. But Sue does win at times. Yes, he's not Shaq Barrett. He's not JPP, but he does give pressure up the middle. And then if he doesn't get there with pressure, awareness just to put your arm up, right? And I like the ending of this play. Arm up, demeanor, throw his ass to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's in Indomitian Sue. I mean, he's gonna play he's gonna play beyond the whistle, to be honest. And, you know, he gets away with it though. I mean, he's just he, that's how he plays. I mean, he's physical <laughs> and he's gonna let you know that he's there. And uh, you got to love it. I mean, again, just being aware, getting your hands up, making plays. Yeah, I mean, because to be honest, the Bucks sort of were called soft. I wouldn't say soft in general, but some people would say just because McCoy would help people up, they'd say they were soft. Even though McCoy is making play after play. But we needed a little bit of toughness. Why not, right? Again, here, 
definitely. Savvy. I'll let you read this one. Yeah, again, yeah, here, I mean, he just he sees it quickly. He understands, you know, he's not going to win with his rush here in the pass, but he understands where McCaffrey's going and then able to, you know, move back and, and get into the passing lane here. You know, he sees, feels McCaffrey there, slows it down, and, you know, just gets his hand out there. Yeah, you don't and, need to make the play, but he's getting in the way of the play. Right, exactly. And, I mean, we talked about, you know, me – you know, saying Levante, I mean, Levante's right there as well. So mm-hmm. just very aware players. This one's really special. You watch it here, you know, the line is going one way and he does a great job of just spinning back the other way. They're trying to down block here to, you know, set up the uh, the backside run. And look at that spin move. That's really impressive. And then just finish it with power. Yeah. I mean, this is what he's really good at, run stuffing. So again, watch him fat in actual motion. Spin off, make the play. Wonder why we're number one in the run. Right yeah, here. it's because of that guy. Again, here, same thing. I mean, just holding up the center here. I mean, he's just going to keep the center in basically one spot. I mean, Ryan Kelly can't move here as we let the, let the play run. I mean, he's just going to hold him there and then just follow the running back. And Ryan you know, Kelly's his... helping with the tackle there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Marlon Max, he's, he's just got nowhere to go. And that's that's really impressive. Keep going down the line. Here he is again. What's he going to do? Get skinny in between two guys. Makes a play. So this is a third and one, I believe, where they stopped him short for a field goal. It's just, I mean, getting between two defenders. No one's really getting a whole body on him. Not ability to move him totally out of the space. Good hustle. Something that he's not known for, hustle. But here, here's a fourth and one. What is he gonna do on this? Plows his man back, makes a tackle while the man's blocking him. Yeah, it's just, I mean, his strength is uh, out of this world. And, you know, he can, yeah, I mean, he's just bodying that guy up. And then just being able to, you know, be in the right spot, know where the, the play is going, you know, before it happens. Again, just really special. I mean, Number one against the run, guys. There you go. When you have two guys like Sue and Vita Vey in the middle, it's kind of hard to run the ball. Yeah, definitely. And then again here in the middle of your screen, as always, patented. Hustle, bulldozing his guy in the backfield. What is that, about two yards back? Still pushing him. I like how he's got his hand on the back of the center here, gaining more leverage, using just mm-hmm. his shoulder and the chest plate of the, the guard. Disengages, gets after it. Yeah, just look at the change of direction on this play. I mean, it's very impressive. I mean, he's he's getting pushed here to the left, and then being able to just go back to the right so quickly, really good. Understanding that, you know, hey, there's going to be a cutback lane here possibly, and just, you know, just takes care of it. Mm-hmm. And this, this guy just don't have a good day. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's go really again. good. Yeah, he's just going to destroy the right side here. Pick him up. Watch him. Yeah, body him up. him down. Yep. Causes like just a, I mean, look at that. Just chaos everywhere. And he's the one causing it. And you're going to have like a five-man pile up here. Pretty much all the Texans. <laughs> I mean, this poor running back. So not only do you have Sue here, look at, Dom, look at Vita Vea bulldozing his guy back. So it's either get killed by Vita Vea or... Mm-hmm. Knock the heck out by Dominic yeah. Sue. Like, and I like Nacho there. Watch, he's going to push the guy over on top of the Texan guy. That's <laughs> awesome. Poor guy. <laughs> he's like, you go sit too. <laughs> All right, and so this is a play where I kind of notice people say Sue takes plays off or he's not hustling or he's just lollygagging. I don't know what they say. So he's right here, middle. He's getting blocked, disengages, but he whiffs on a tackle. Some people think he's just not giving effort. I mean, he's... Down the field trying to make a play, just whiffs by a smaller, probably 115 pound less running back making a nifty move to get away. Like to me, that's kind of hard judgment on a player. But hey, he with that eye in the sky, you're gonna get remarks left and right. But then you look at a play like this. So I want to show this grand scheme of things. I'll let the play run. To fake, play action fake. Look at this wide, wide open space, all this space to run. Your defenders are all going to crash down, not going to get there. 
Who do you think makes this play? This is Ndamukong Sue right here. Let it run. He ain't got hustle. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, just check it out. I mean, then he does that little spin move again. Play action fake. He's reading it. He already knows running back doesn't have it. Disengage immediately using that awareness. Everyone else is still fading down with the play. Dominican Sue is already reading. Sees that wide receiver wide open. And he's getting downhill and makes a play. Saves a touchdown. I mean, plus tell me something about it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I got distracted by seeing VH3 just get knocked on his ass by our own guy. So oh. that was pretty funny. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Dominican Sue is just, I mean, look at the closing speed on this. I mean, he's, he's easily a 20 yards away, you know, when the guy catches right. the ball. Or at least 10. At least 10 yards away. And just, man, just flies out of a rocket <laughs> and ends up making the play. Bad out of hell. Yeah. So. <laughs> That was, I mean, yeah, he's got hustle, guys. All right, and notice this. Vita Vea went down the field, too, to get in there. The first thing he says, get me the hell out of the game. I need some oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Again, more hustle plays, getting through a yeah. guard to make a tackle. Opposite right. hash. So you see him right here. Side of your screen, the play is going to be over here. Mm -hmm. Now we're to run it through. Try to cut it in. Guard. Oh, no, that's not the guard. That's Armstead, isn't it? Yeah. Nope. So, I mean, Dominic yeah, really Sue, could. I don't know why he gets this bad rap. I think he played very well for the Bucks. Yes, he didn't play like he, his early years where he got sacks left and right, but he was around the ball with his fumble recoveries. He got two touchdowns, two and a half sacks, did his job in the run game, and he was on the field a lot, and he played all 16 games. So, what else could you ask? I know people don't like the $8 million contract, but hey, he produced. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, just really good player, and I'm excited that he's back for the uh, 2020 season. And guys, if you like this video, hey, be sure to you know hit that subscribe button. Make sure to give us some likes and comments down below. And hey, we appreciate everything you guys are doing for us. And as always, go Bucks.